Hi, you guys. <laughs> what a great day today, July 9th. It says everything has clicked into place. Our country has, has its footing. It feels like all is well ultimately. Um, this deck, the Crow deck, I got this deck while we were up north because it was calling to me like, hey, uh, I, I need to be here because I've always felt like the Crow deck was representing the process almost like a post-Trump process, but um, cleaning everything up, getting clarity from all that's happened with a new perspective which is kind of neat. So finally, the Crow Tarot said, I'm ready, I have something to say. You know, earlier today, SCOTUS ruled on three things. Uh, the House could not have access to his taxes, but sided with the New York prosecutors and the grand jury in having access to Donald's tax returns, which is huge. And then also sided with Native American uh, tribes in eastern Oklahoma. Um, I don't know about that in more detail, but essentially that uh, they have sovereignty over their rule of law on their sovereign lands. And apparently Gorsuch is a big fan of sovereignty. And so when the Crow Tarot spoke to me, I was like, what do you want to talk about? And there were three things. SCOTUS, the Constitution, and our country. Um, what's crowning this is because of what we know about Donald. So here, he is the fool. He is absolutely the fool. Do you see that big mountain in the background? Wait, let me put my glasses on. Make sure that is a big mountain. Um, yeah, he, he can't penetrate the mountain the mountaintop, he's blocked. The seven pentacles reversed, bad investment, really bad investment. Bad decisions by him, bad investment for America. So when we look over here, this is SCOTUS. The Crow Tarot said, the ace of swords, the truth shall come out and they will use it to cut like a knife through warm butter in getting what needs to be done. What's covering them is the magician. Transformation, nobody ever knows exactly what the Supreme Court of the United States is going to do. The magician is represented by the sign of Gemini, which has to do with co communications and ideals and how um, we think about things, how we can see multiple sides of things and how we can just magically download insight into what needs to be done. Being able to take these details and transform it, like metamorphosis, like their innate talents to be used. The Five of Swords, as a magician and the truth, they will use it to lay down the law. Some might say it's winning unfairly or they will address those who are trying to manipulate through deceit and they will act swiftly with their powers in government through truth and skill. The U.S. Constitution, I have the lovers here. At the heart of the matter, the Supreme Court loves the Constitution. Nothing, nothing can interfere with that. The Constitution is covered in the Queen of Wands, the rule of the land manifest. Liberty, justice for all. Clarifiers, the justice, the scales of justice. In order to form a more perfect union, we the people, justice and equality for all. The Three of Cups, the love of three separate branches of government. The Page of Cups, 
the optimism and hope that our Constitution brings to us. I love that the crab is here. The crab uh, is the sign of cancer. It has a protective shell. It protects itself. It can get where it needs to, but it always defends its home. It can be in the water or out of the water. It's adaptable. Water is spiritual and emotional. We have the five-pointed star. I keep thinking of this sacred geometry in Chinese medicine. It also makes me think of the transit of Venus. Over nine years, it creates this pattern in the heavens as its path is traced along the sky and the earth. Love, home, protection, optimism, and faith. The United States of America, the Eight of Pentacles. We are a hardworking bunch. We know our values. We're still a work in progress. What's covering us is the Four of Swords. It's truth. Sometimes it might seem like we've retreated or playing dead. But in essence, look at that. Two fours are an eight. It's telling me there's two sides with this. Protecting and defending ourselves. We know what our work is. Even when we seem distracted, there's a watchful eye. The clarifiers, the hermit, always a watchful eye. We've gotten this far, we're not gonna blow it. There's the star and hope. We will get through this together. We watch out for one another. The Knight of Cups, our protectors, our defenders. There's always going to be a cavalry there for the people. And the Wheel of Fortune in timing. It's all about timing. This all became about the clarification because of the fool and bad investments. It's going down. poverty for him. He's done. So there we go. SCOTUS and Truth. The Constitution. And Home. Have a great day, you guys.